What's up? This is John from John Branch for Photography and today we're going to look at editing in Lightroom CC on the new iPad Pro. So the new iPad Pros are out and I am so, so hype about them. They're so fast and so nice. I could go on forever, but this is not an iPad review. You can check out some of that stuff elsewhere, but we're gonna go over editing in Lightroom. And keep in mind, I'm a wedding photographer, so my workflow is gonna mainly be from a wedding photographer world. But where I see the iPad really working out the most is actually for portrait shoots or fashion shoots, something where you would wanna tether. And mind you, you can't tether on the iPad, but you can easily upload stuff to it very quickly and edit the photos right then and there and have a nice big screen that you can show people what the end product is gonna look like. So for my workflow, there's a couple of things I use. First and foremost is the My Passport Wireless Pro, which I do have a video on that. Check that out in the description, wherever that shows up, down there, wherever, wherever it happens. With this thing, I have four terabytes of wireless storage. So I know that's one big thing that everyone harps on with the iPad Pro is that there's no way that you can actually have a hard drive connected to your iPad. But with this, you actually can. It connects wirelessly and you use the MyCloud app to get to your photos and load them into Lightroom. After using something like the My Wireless Pro, the next thing you'll need is actually to transfer your presets from Lightroom Classic into Lightroom CC on your computer. That way your presets will be on the mobile version as well. Peter McKinnon actually has a really cool video of this, so check that out. I'll link it up here at the top and in the description as well. And last but not least, you need an iPad. Keep in mind, I'm showing the new iPad Pro 11 inch, but everything I show you here is just Lightroom, the app in itself. So if you have an older iPad, you can do this as well. I'll also be rocking with the new Apple Pencil, so it's gonna be really cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and edit in Lightroom CC. To start out, I actually use the My Passport Wireless Pro to store all of my images. If you saw my review of this, you'll know that it has an SD card slot on it where I can pop my SD cards in right after a session and back up my files. After doing that, you actually have to connect to it wirelessly. So you'll see here my wireless settings that I'm directly connected to the My Passport. And then from that, they have the My Cloud app and you'll be able to get to all your photos. So in the My Cloud app, I can go to all my SD card imports and see all the sessions that I've backed up. And then from here, I can see all my different photos. Now what I usually like to do is just import them directly into Lightroom from here. And I can do one at a time. So in the top right, just hit the share, open in. You'll see it'll download the photo fully and then copy to Lightroom CC. And so now we're in Lightroom CC and we can edit our photo. Now, if you moved your preset over, like I talked about before from Lightroom CC on the computer, you can actually just access all that stuff here. So you'll see on the right side, I can hit my presets. Here are my presets directly from the computer. Load that on there. And then from there, I can start editing my photo. So I usually start with light, get my exposure right. One hot tip is that if you tap on the number, it'll go up in increments of 10, rather than having to slide this bar all the time. Then I could do the color if I want to, and I'm sure this isn't looking the greatest over recording of the iPad, but you get the idea. I have my white balance, I can auto if I wanted to which is a little too blue, so warm it up some. And so now I have my custom preset, which I use for weddings, right here on my iPad, pretty much in finished photo. If I really wanted to, I could also, one cool thing is do some changes so selective edits and the apple pencil really comes in to play for this so you'll hit the plus after you get to the selective edits and then you can paint it on 
and then you change how you want to edit so like if I wanted to do some skin smoothing I could turn down the clarity a bit turn down the sharpness and then from there I can just paint that on her skin And so with the Apple Pencil, it makes it way easier to just get in there and add selective edits like this. Uh, I think this is the size here. Yeah, let's make this bigger. I don't know if my hand's blocking that, but you see here, you just drag up and down to get the size. So yeah, zoom in and out by pinching. You can just paint on your changes like that. Just going through a little fast, kind of sloppy, but it's all good. So if you do any selective edits like that with skin smoothing or anything, and I don't know if you all notice, but this was a style shoot. So she has some clips on here. If I wanted to, I can use the heel tool to try and get rid of that stuff. Um, Lightroom, you know, sometimes is kind of wonky with getting rid of it, but let's give it a try. So you got your little band-aid here for heel. You have the size. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then same thing, just paint it on over there. And then if Lightroom has its act together, which it did not, <laughs> it'll pick a decent spot. But yeah, I can just move this spot and change it to 100%. And obviously Lightroom's not the best for healing, but I would say if it was something easier, like if I wanted to get rid of any of her little skin blemishes or spots, I could do that very easily. I would usually do that stuff in probably like Pixel Pixelmator or something. But yeah, that's a quick look at editing on the iPad. It's really fast. The new iPad 11 inch is so fast. I cannot get enough of it. So that was a quick look at using Lightroom CC on the new iPad Pro. It is so fast and the new iPad Pros are highly recommended if you don't have a laptop like myself. As of right now, I can't really replace a laptop, but honestly, being able to do a quick preview after a wedding day, a quick 10 photos or something, this is really the thing. And honestly, with the, the new iPads being so fast, I would honestly try even editing an engagement session. It's possible, it's totally possible. If you like what you saw in this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be notified when I have new videos. I'm gonna be concentrating on creative entrepreneur stuff, business stuff, business apps, photography things, and the whole umbrella of that stuff. So stay tuned and I'll be with y'all next time. All right, peace.